Ah, uh, it wouldn't be one of my videos without needless complexity. It took me like half an hour to get this running. Okay. Welcome, welcome. My name is Dizzy. This is the first of a unnamed series playing the video game Airships Conquer the Skies, a game by David Stark, version 1.0. Now, I have only played the tutorial of this game and made the little emblem in the corner, because you have to. Um... And what I'm going to do is go do a new game in Conquest. I don't know what all these settings do. Small, medium, large map. I mean, you're going to do large, because it's going to be a series. Imperial. Difficulty. I've, I've only seen a couple videos of this game. So I'm not going completely blind. I've seen the videos by Nemo Nemo and Fallen Shogun. Both of which I'm sure I'll link to in the description. You can find their videos on their channels. They cover this this game before me. I am unoriginal and a hack. Never mind about that. Shogun's doing a Imperial difficulty campaign. I watched the first two episodes of that. And I was already planning on doing the highest difficulty because after watching Nemo's and he was doing it on easy, it's like, wow. Well, I mean obviously he was demonstrating, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hassle him. Land, continent, mixed, archipelago. Well, I know what an archipelago is. It's the best form of map on Civ. But we're not playing Civ right now. So I don't know what that means, I'm just going to do mixed. Monsters. What I saw of, uh, again, in Shogun's game, he had the omnipresent setting, which meant that they were spawning everywhere. And it seemed actually to be a benefit in his case, because there's so many monsters that he could just farm them. Like, he he spent the first two episodes barely invading other, other uh, nations, but he was raiding pirates and monsters and stuff. At the same time, the monsters look brutally difficult, and I only saw him fight, like, one of them at a time. There's the Clockwork Wasps. Looked a little bit binary. I don't know. Either way, I guess I'm... I like the feel, though, just having things going on constantly. Research. No research slow. Normal fast. I'm tempted to go fast just because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, because that's a good that's a good way to make you... make it easier for you, but at the same time, it's easier. So, like, it's it's easier to understand what's going on, and sorry if you can hear the mouse, I just remember to turn off the... turn the fidget spinner mode on, so now it's quiet. We'll keep it normal. Um, I don't know what the tiers even mean, so whatever default is, I'm sure is fine. Display hints. Ah, eh, yeah, probably a good idea. Um, when I tried this earlier, I had push talk on, which meant that I had to, like, button... I had to press buttons and stuff. I don't have push talk on now, so yell at me in the comments if, you, if I need push talk. But for now, having push talk on made me accidentally press enter here after putting a, key, a name in, which made me launch a game. I didn't want to do that. So instead, uh, I need to come up with a name. Um, oh god. This is the hardest part of everything. The hardest part of any game is naming your game. Uh, Dizzy's Rascals. Okay, that's how you spell it, right? It's 1L. I think it's 1L. There's no apostrophe. You can't type punctuations, I guess. Ah, yeah. Uh, okay. Enter. There we go. Now it's loading in. So, this is a game where, if you haven't watched the videos... Why haven't you watched the other videos? If you haven't watched the other videos on this game, then basically it's a kind of World War One steampunky era... Steampunk? Mm, diesel... I, I guess it's kind of steampunk. It's got like weird magic crystals and stuff. Um, and you can make blimps. Anyway, you make big airships. You customize them. You put weapons and other systems in them. You could also make land ships if you want to go that way, which... On, on one hand, I see why you might maybe sometimes want to. On the other hand, from what I've seen, they look really vulnerable. I'll go over that later. This is your home city. Cities that are yours have your flag. Wow, really? Who would have thought? Um, each city you conquer gives you additional income, but also be defended. Yep, I get that. Starting fleet. Yep, yep, yep. Build your fleet. Yep, yep. Uh, control the speed of my game. Is there hotkeys for this? I, I hope there are. But if there aren't, then, well, we'll just, uh, my first... Why is this the city that you selected? Okay, and it's... Okay, oh, spacebar does pause it. Okay. It unpaused while I'm reading the menus. It's telling me to put spies there, but I'm not gonna do that. I read that as Garfield. All right, Garfield. Um, oh God, it froze for a second. Okay, Radiant Fortress, no, you're Garfield Fortress. Come on, spell right. Uh, okay, 
Now, let me look at this for a sec. So yeah, like I was saying, there's all these little little bits, little bits in the bobbles you put in. These are fortresses, they don't move, clearly. As far as I can tell, these are little frame pieces. Uh, here, why don't I uh, refit so I can see them. A strut, yeah, okay, it's just, just gives you hit points. I don't really know what the mechanic of hit points does. I guess it's a forced surrender mechanic because, I mean, you can lose modules and if your thing falls apart, it also dies. So it's just another way to lose. Anyway, cannons have a forward arc. They do a lot of damage. Uh, you need you need to have, and this is interesting. It's one of the things that makes me kind of really like the idea of this game, is that you need to have everything connected and you actually, the whole system is crewed by individual people running around. So here in Garfield Fortress, they have to, I don't know why there's a ladder here. What does this do? Is Oh, because it's access to the barracks. So yeah, you need to have crew. The crew have to run around. They actually have to man the weapons, get ammo it from the ammo store. You have a limited amount of ammo. If things are on fire, they have to use these water tanks. Or you have fire extinguishers you can research later. A uh, bridge so they can actually receive commands from me. I am commander. It's like XCOM or something. A uh, bunk. A cramped room with three beds. Oh, okay. So there's little bits like that. It's not just the barracks, which is bigger. Uh, barracks is three tiles, and it houses a dozen, versus a bunk is three. Okay, so it's less efficient to use a bunk. Makes sense, you need it. Uh, it's got a ladder for some reason. I mean, you could fit six in there if you didn't want to care for space. I mean, look at the density of this. Anyway, I have no intention of actually worrying about these. Uh, I'm on the highest difficulty, so I don't really acknowledge these cities. They're going to just die constantly. So, while it's paused... Hold up, i got a cough. <clears throat> While it's paused, I need I need water. I'll get I'll get water later. I'll com you'll hear me complain about water because I've already started recording and I don't have a glass of water. My bad. So rascals over here, what do I have for my starting? What the hell is this? What are you? Uh, refit. Okay, so from my understanding, every there's a bunch of different factions in the game, and I guess you're randomly selected one of them and you get the ship style that they have. Uh, Scylla, I don't like, I don't like you. God, you're vulnerable to fr frontward fire. I guess you're well armored in the front? De decorative? Oh, it's just decorative, it doesn't even do anything. Wow, yeah, you're just... What's your... Serve 60 meter, oh my gosh. I think the max is something like 200. What? No, well, it... Max is like 1500. All, I haven't seen any ships more than about 200 meters. So 60 meters is really low. This is not a good ship. Um, I need a good ship. And I, I can't afford a good ship. Because if I... Uh, if I... This is the highest difficulty setting. So they're going to be on me like Donkey Kong. Okay. Like, can I view your your fleets? No, I can't. Um, ooh, hello. Oh, look, at look, there's lore. Alright, so if anyone wants to read this... I'm scrolling by there. There we go. There we go. It looks Cthulhu-esque. Or rather, not Cthulhu-esque, but based on the author who wrote the Cthulhu stories. Um, so this is the world map. It looks like... Well, is an archipelago-ish thing? No, there's an archipelago. Yep. That's, that's just a... Whatever you call Panama. Like this. This could be the Panama Canal right here. Ooh, the, the, the music's flourishing. Right now, it, it wants me to move and do something. Where am I? Where the hell? Where the heck? Woundford. What a good name for a city. I'd invade you just on that, except Nem is right there. Um. Well, okay. So all I can really do right now is wait. Oh, oh, hold up. Uh, no, don't do that. Oh no, I'm so slow. Holy crud! I want to just lose that city. Yeah, you're not... There's not a chance in hell. Well, I mean... If they don't have bombs... They're gonna have bombs. What the heck are you? Um... I don't know what you are. Position my ships for battle. Uh, start. Well, I'm gonna just have to watch this guy die. Because the starting faction I got isn't good. Oh boy, okay, so it's a ship I might be able to fight. 
kind of. Okay, so we can only hit the propeller and that little bit over there, which is where the uh, engine is. Yep. Oh, set it on fire. Please do. Set it, set it on fire so that the lower cannon can shoot. The lower cannon can shoot. It's got a... It's loud on my end. I have the volume on minimum on my end. I reduced it for the recording. Hopefully it's enough. But I'm just going to not have to zoom in. Okay, so... Learning. The faction to our east is not good against our defenses. At least they're, they're standard ships. Okay, I need to zoom out. It's giving me, it's giving me a headache. I want to just lower my system volume. There we go. Can't do anything. That This is the issue with the game, though, is that because everything automates so heavily, you can't really do anything in Mac, like, um, micromanagey. Interestingly, though, we won pretty well, actually. Which means they don't have a fleet. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I gotta research. Okay, so. I might have just wasted some money on subsidies that I wasn't paying to use. So I have tier 1. So I have tier 1, which I guess everything that has a, sim that has a symbol is stuff that I already have. All right, you gotta right you gotta right click to scroll around everywhere, and I couldn't like zoom in or out, so I thought it was frozen. I got worried. Anyway, I have tier one technology, which if this is all tier one, what what wouldn't be tier one? What would what would tier zero look like? I am terrified. Okay, so there's no description of any of these things, so I kind of just have to take it. I just kind of have to just take it on uh, faith. What do I want? Pressurized suspendium dust tank versus suspendium chambers. What does it mean? I guess altitude. Uh, land ships. It's land ships. So I get um, saw blade and tracks. Okay, so I can't even build land ships till I research this. Because I won't have tracks otherwise. And saw blades. Well, I mean. The issue with land ships in this game, I feel, is that you it's, it's, a one, it's like a one dimensional plane in effect. So you can only have one land ship that actually is in combat at a time. If you do ram stuff anyway, if they if they have guns, then it's just a giant gun platform that's slowly rolling around. But why why not just do an airship? I guess it's less vulnerable to being shot down then. Yeah, maybe that's just it. If land ships with uh, anti-air guns are just really durable, that could be the idea. I don't know. Um, there's a giant tree here. Harpooners. I think I saw harpooners in Shogun's video. Yeah, one of his video, one of his ships got boarded by pirates that like threw harpoons to board him. Which looked neat, but I don't know how good harp um, boarding is. It seems like it might be good based off the tutorial because it did play the, t the tutorial, mind you. Boarding seemed like a really efficient way to suddenly turn the tide, but you kind of need to build around it because it's like anything, kind of an expensive option. Every little option you do seems to be expensive. Hybrid ships seem very bad in this game. From based off of just looking around at it. Airy Hussars, I know are fighters, based off of Nemo's video. Fire extinguishers are fire extinguishers, I mean obviously. You know what that is. Rockets. Um Shogun sounded really terrified of rockets, so either they're really good or just they did one thing once that really scared him. I mean, it's it's either is about as likely. I, I know that I've been in that situation where I thought things were really powerful, but it ended up just, like, critting me or something like that. But they could also just be terrifying. I don't know. I don't know. Optics. Telescopes. Would this be, like, something that makes my weapons more accurate? I don't know. Imperial Cannon. Medium Steel Armor. It, it was what's better about the Imperial Cannon than the regular one? I don't know. Was the Imperial Cannon better than a Heavy Cannon? Because Imperial, is, it sounds really resounding, you know? And I need telescopes for Heavy Cannon. Heavy turrets, ooh, what does that mean? Automated loading systems, ooh. Okay, that might be fun. But then right below it is spider legs. See, look, like, there's so many <laughs> mech spiders. What are you? Okay. Okay, everything, like, you're unlock. It's, 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 so this first row here is unlocking stuff, clearly. The second one is unlocking more advanced stuff with this little aside. And the third stuff is mostly unlocking stuff, but like as it goes on, it's you get more of these things where it's just a stat buff. 
Like here, you still unlock things at the end. But like, it's pure unlocking. And then as it goes on, you have more uh, buffs for stuff. Like, reduced steel armor weight probably is really nice. Um, because again, the heavier your airship is, the harder it is to fly. I'm talking a lot about theory in a game that I haven't actually played beyond the tutorial and one battle that I just auto-played through. Um, so what do I want, I guess? Like, honestly, which just sounds fun to me. I, um... I want to get fire extinguishers for obvious reasons, but you already have the, the water thing, which, based on my playing around in the tutorial, seems to do fine, I guess? I assume fire extinguishers are, like, maybe a one-tile building that you can just put around the place. So maybe when I get really big ships, I'll look into fire extinguishers. I'm going to I'm gonna assume that thing I said, and if I'm wrong, laugh at me. Please, just, just laugh at me. Okay, so what do I want? So from what I've seen, it I think that altitude is the most important thing in this game. Uh, putting, for instance, in Nemo's single video, which is, uh, mind you, it was playing on easy. So maybe damage values change. But he was using a ship with a bunch of bomb bays. And that just destroyed anything that it got above. So my theory is that altitude is one of the really good stats, you know? So I think I'm going to go for this thing. Which I, I guess there's no confirm. I just select it and then leave. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then it still paused. You just lost your fleet, so... I'm going to send a spy over there so I can see your defenses. Um... You have defenses, okay. So these are, I think, rockets. And that's a crow's nest, so you can shoot a little bit more accurately. Based only off a one-off thing Nemo said, I'm taking everything on face value. Rifles, I think, is that one of the, oh, those are the chain guns? So you only have one weapon facing the right, so. But you're hugging the right. But, what are, why is there a ghost of a ship here? Is this just a thing that pop? Okay, well, I'm not gonna think about. That. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh! Careful, camera. Anyway, uh, yeah, I can get a ship with like a bomb bay and just bomb that a little, and then fly over here and do that. Uh, I thought that said soda for a second. Ignore me. Anyway, I can take that on fairly easily. Let's invade you. Uh, meanwhile, I don't have the money to do anything else, so I just have to hope that nobody invades me while I invade him. Ooh, land ships. Okay, never mind. Um, you have two cannons, which means if I'm high up, you can't do anything to me. Uh, eh, let's just leave. Select destination to fly to. Let's fly to there. Oh, cool. Nice. Good chance. Wow, okay, this Scylla thing is super slow. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, but luckily this base is, like, specifically gonna do a good job. Look at that. Already ripping pieces off, I think. Or is that just a tree? That was a good tree. It's okay. It's okay. As it gets closer, he's gonna... See, I, I out-cannon him. They're coming at us out of the sun. Oh, so my weapons are less accurate, I guess. I guess. Presumably. So I'm just auto-completing. These defenses are surprisingly reliable, actually. If I get a second one, and kind of like put it there, facing up there, they, they wouldn't have a chance. Or even, hmm. Okay, so they always come, attacker's always over there. I get it now. Oh, there's a chain guns. You have chain guns. And you have, um, modern armor? Yeah, okay. Keep that modern armor up. Yeah, I'm winning. What is this, no armor? Stand back, man. Yes, yes. The Garfield Fortress. Hey, it's the Garfield Fortress. Come on, Garfield. You can do it. Oh, no. There's only two cannons left. Woo! Well, they only have one team. And they're uh, exploding. Here we go. Ammo bay. So, as you can see, the chain, the chain effects of different going down. It's really brutal in this game. This game just does not play. Okay, so you survived. Good job, Garfield. Invade. Go back to... Oh my god. They just keep... A huge shipyard. 
Oh. I just ugh. A he ugh. Okay. Anyway, you're awful. I don't like you. Defenses. Let's. Uh, okay, so you auto repair the defenses. Cause I uh, saw that when ships get brutalized, like really brutalized, they uh, you need to take them back to a shipyard to physically repair them. You're an awful ship. I I don't like you. I don't like without even seeing you in combat. You're just not good. You're slow. They outrun me everywhere. I mean, land ships. I remember being described at some point as being faster. High alert. Oh, okay. Oh, good. They got two. Garfield, um, well, I have money now, so. Can I build a ship that's less useless? Honestly, any ship at this point would be less useless. Uh, these tiny little things. Tiny little thing. Where's your ammo? Where's your, what? Ammo, 24. Do you just, do you just have ammo, like, as a thing? Because you don't have an ammo bay. Small ammo, okay, there we go. Puny! You are puny, Mutalax. What are you? Mutalax is a uh, ammo store. Where are your weapons? Oh, grenades. Okay. Deathly Wind, Steel Cargo Door. You're just a supply ship, aren't you? Marine Barracks. Okay, so you, you board. Here's the thing. I might want to try boarding because it does seem like a nice, you know, brute force solution to life's problems. Um, by the way, I haven't actually designed any ships, so these are all default. Ooh, ooh, that looks fun. That's what a heavy turret is? Six grand? I make like sixty dollars per uh like income period. Acrid stench, do you have the boarding? No but you should. You have a what is this? A ram, yes, exactly. You should have boarding. I mean if you ram, you may as well board, you know what I'm saying? Um What do all these things do? <laughs> what are these buttons? Okay, bat. Ventral turret. Gyroscopes tier 3. There's tiers to research? Oh no, that's just the, the research tier, right? Right. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Falcon. Aerial torpedo is not available. You just have torpedoes, don't you? A propeller in the front. Ooh, strut. Bastard. Acred stench. I think because my ship's so godly lo slow... I might want the ramming ship. Crew rock it doesn't even have a skeleton crew. Oh my gosh, these aren't good. These like generalist things. I mean the Cranium. Supply 48. I don't know what these numbers even mean. It it goes red when you don't have enough supply. That's all I know. Service stealing. You can fly fairly high. You fly fairly fast. You're also skeleton crewed. Uh what is a Okay, the birth is the uh, little thing. Um, well, you fly high and have grenades. I want something with bomb bays. Design ship. Do I even have bomb bays as like an option? Weapons, bomb bay, there we go. 24? Incomprehensible. Yeah, all right. I, uh, I guess you're gonna watch me build a ship, guys. First off, let's build the quarters. Uh, let's let's be let's be a little bit knowingly conservative, eh? Quarters, bridge. Where's the bridge? There it is. Bridge, uh, coal and propeller. Where's my suspendium? Suspendium. Let's go there. Fire point. Let's go there. Let's, uh, mm, okay, so I want this to be a bomber, which means cannons aren't going to be very useful because I'm going to be flying over things. So I want probably grenades, right? What's the range arc? This this is a weird, at, weird looking range arc. Grenades are supposed to be really powerful at close range, as it says in the description. Muskets are also really powerful at long range, thus just more reliable. You see, you see, you see. Ammo bay, uh, ammo store, I mean. I'm gonna put you right next to the fire point because that sounds like a smart idea. Um, and in fact, let's put the nope, not quarter, quarter with doors, with ladders. I mean, 
Let's do muskets there then. Just a couple. Let's do musket flipped in the other direction. Bit of a thing. But it's but it is it, what it is. Okay, can only I can only do one unless I want to do another quarter worth ladder. Which I kinda don't. Um and then bombays. So bombays are actually very good. Um nope, let's put there we go. Let's do that. Do it like that. Um It's a guard post. Air Marine keeps watch here. D deterring intruders. Guard barracks. Four guards to protect the ship or building. You're gonna fly really close to things, so maybe I do want a guard barrack somewhere. Um let's not worry about that yet. Crow catcher ram. Um no you're bombing. Grape shot cannon. I didn't see this. Yo. What's your arc? What's your arc? What's what's your arc? Show your arc. Come on. Come on. Oh man. I'm not showing the arc. Um I'm gonna assume it's it's a cannon arc. Shoots troops and planes within 28 meters. Oh, it's close range. I mean, that's... Yeah. See, look at... Like, the cannon has 1,600 meter range, and the musket has 450 range? Accurate range, though. Oh, okay, so arc is also a stat. Maximum accurate range. I wouldn't call it accurate. Um, Maximum firing arc, 80 degrees. Okay, so it's wider than a cannon. Grip shot cannons are something I might want to try. Anyway, though, I... What was I doing? Right, right. I was thinking of the guard barracks in bomb bays. Um, I need a repair bay, maybe? Hmm. I'm already really budgeted. Okay, so bomb bay. One more. Two more. There we go. And I need a supply bay somewhere. Steel supply hatch. Let's put it there. Is that enough? No, wait. Okay, so when you right-click something, it auto-selects that item. Is that enough? Okay, that looks like it's enough. I'm only having the one musket, just as so that the AI doesn't think that flanking me is going to be a thing, because um, from the tutorial, if you put, if I put one weapons on only one side of a ship, they just flanked constantly, and it was frustrating. Not because they were winning, mind you, but because I just had to constantly command them around the place. Anyway, uh, crew 12, minimum crew 16. Okay, so I'm, I need more crew. Um, quarters, 12 air sailors. Where's the barracks? The barracks was the thing I saw. The guard barracks is not what I saw. But okay. Put it there. Um, supply, any more supply now? Oh god, budget's getting real strapped. Steel supply hatch, five dollars. Okay. Um, what's your maximum service ceiling? One thirty-two. So you're still higher than the other one. You're not great, but it's what I can afford. Um, supply. Okay. Yeah, I don't really know. Eh. Okay. So my thinking here is because of the ladder here, then they have a fairly high, uh, like fairly good ability to get that down there. The fire bits right next to the ammo and the suspendium. If either of those go down, this is dead. Because it's a bomber, so obviously if the suspendium chamber goes down, it just has these three muskets. The propeller and the coal. The coal is just fueling everything. Your coal goes down every few seconds based off the items. Like, see, here it requires a coal unit every 30 seconds. This one requires every 20. Um, requires one supply. Okay, so... Supply, okay, so supply is just kind of a... Um, general measure of the requirements of various things. Different buildings require certain amounts of supplies, and I mean, that's kind of what I figured. Um, provided by doors. It's funny that of the way to do it, it was doors, not like supply, like cargo containers, but I guess this is, it is operating as that. It's just named something different. Anyway, let's save the design to the incomprehensible. I like incomprehensible as a name. Okay. Leave. Build. I need to build it. I'm gonna name it the... Oh god. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> the arrow keys moved the camera. Oh no! Um, DR, I guess, would be the acronym for my guys, and the DR incomprehensible, because it's the first one. It's sister ships will have different names, but for now, 
it has that name. Unpause. Anyway, what am I doing? I'm trying to keep these land ships from killing me. What do you got? Okay. Huge shipyard. I hate that you have a huge ship cart shipyard. You have 69 in income, though, which is nice. I appreciate that. I'm at the highest difficulty. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have been. I can't go over there. Well, if I finish the bomber. Bombers are really good because they can basically solo defenders because all the defenders are on the ground. So if you fly above them and they only have cannons or anything that, like, have cannon-like arcs, then um, they can solo it. So, knowing that these guys also, their weapons are chain guns, that's not good. I can't... Oh, no. Okay, well, if it's only one... Oh, it's two. Well. Well. Rip me. These are the second. Yep, and it's a triple chain gun. Okay, so one of this... I'm gonna win against this one, probably. Probably. Ooh, so the shots do actually fly through enemies if they miss, quote unquote. It's already on fire. Already got hits that on fire. Come on, shoot the guns! The guns are up armored. You notice that the, the colors are different because it has actually armored its weapon ports. The other stuff isn't so much armored. Oh, it made it in the range of all three of its weapons. Last time it only came in range of two. This isn't really good. Chain guns fire in bursts and get reloaded. That makes sense. Okay, two of them just went down, and there we go. It's dead in the water. Not that it matters, but maybe it's the spot where we want it to go. And the other one's coming. The other one's also on fire. Come on. Engine blow up, engine blow up. Come on, come on. But it has to put the next fire up, too. Oh! Many of my cannons just went out now because it's cut off. They don't. Well then, maybe they'll surrender. Maybe they'll shoot at the useless bits of this. Yeah, shoot, shoot, no, shoot down, shoot down, come on. Shoot, shoot down, not up. Okay, what do these symbols mean? Out of water and not under command. Why don't we need to be These People are dying. People are dying. Okay. It's not good. People are dead. You're not recoverable. I got that going. Okay, so these guys in the east are going to be a problem. They only seem to build tanks, though, so I have that going for me. Once I build the bombers, they both survived. Darn. I was hoping this one because it doesn't have the uh, bits. Whoa. Oh, come on, really? It's just, they're, they're just repaired, mostly. I mean, they got the tracks back. This guy's only got one gun versus the two guns. You don't have a defenses, though. And I don't like you. Like, you're just, you're not a good ship. So, you know. Well, actually, that's, because I have, I have the range advantage. There we go. Shoot up that guy. If you can tr stop him before he gets close, that'd be a really good, clean victory. Oh, d did you really? Cool. He's he's threatened. He's scared. Okay, never mind. <laughs> he's not scared anymore. He's no longer scared. He's coming at me. This is really interesting combat, guys. Like, honestly, I'm so invigorated. This is just what happens, I guess, when you play the highest difficulty of a game blind. You don't know what you're doing, and you just kind of got a brute force. It'll be okay. I'm just watching it, because it's more interesting to watch up close than it is to watch this guy. So it looks like the weapons actually have recoil to them, which is interesting. And in the, t in the tutorial, one of my ships actually lost his bridge, so he couldn't be commanded, and every time the recoil knocked him back, he just accepted his fate, and he slowly slid across the map. It was kind of funny. Anyway, he's too threatened for some reason to move in. And the ammo. Alright, buddy. Um, what say you? He's gonna try. Is he gonna run over the corpse of his friend? 
his friend over there. Well, uh, it's barely even a corpse. The ammo bay did explode. Does a good job of deter deterring any survivors. There weren't any survivors. I don't think anyone made it out of that. War is hell, boys. Ooh. What was that sound from? Oh, he just ran someone over. I think. Lightning. Lightning's a thing? Ooh, I hope lightning's a thing. You're actually half out of ammo, so, uh... That's your one strength, that you have a second ammo bay. Otherwise, you would have run out of ammo and, I assume, surrendered? What does the green mean? Ready for command. Low ammo. You're gone. Bye-bye. Someone just died. The sounds of death. Beautiful. That showed him indeed. Okay, so, the Scylla. Still not a good ship, but... Now I know I can take one of these tanks off. Or on. Yeah, you know what I mean. Victory! Alright, let's join up. Ooh, hello. Okay, so now I have bombs. Um, he only has minimum armor, though, because I didn't have any money for more than that. The city has no defensive buildings. I'm probably gonna need to build one of those buildings that are good. Design buildings. No, not design. Hold up. Build buildings. Sentinel, keep of crows, defensive structure, 17. Defensive platform. Okay, so... Here's the thing. Those those tanks, which are my main threat right now. Well, they're, I, I don't have any need for this, even though I don't have the things researched, of course. The um, It takes them a while to actually tear these buildings apart. So if I have multiple small ones, that should probably do an even better job than doing, like, one big one, you know? That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Um, yeah. Am I out of money? I'm out of money. Oh, uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Open. Issue, though, is that this is, um, too far away. That my cannons are hitting, gonna hit this constantly. That'll be okay, I guess. I suppose. Maybe? I don't like it. I don't like this one bit, to be honest. This whole faction I'm fighting is just being the bane of my existence, and I'm, I'm gonna have to swear off land ships as a result, because it's just... It's scaring me. Okay, I'm broke now. But I can invade you with, uh, pretty, pretty good confidence, I feel. And they're getting shrekt. Look how slow I am. Scylla, you're just... You're not an asset. Okay, so... Oh, gosh. Good thing I built the bomber. Okay. Scylla. You're... Ooh, you're so terrible. <laughs> just, just, just... You're, you're both at the highest altitude possible. Okay. Um, start. Pause. Move. Let's bomb. Who do I want to bomb first? I guess you. Yeah. The second one in. You, though, are gonna target that one. Okay, so it's a bit of a YOLO run, but... Oh, the rocket's just kind of dud. Oh, no, that's that looks scary. Okay, so... Rockets look scary. Are they scary, though? Yet to decide. They can shoot upwards, so maybe. Oh, no. Run! <laughs> Um, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that, what you're doing. Hold up. Cancel. Cancel. <laughs> all right, just just take it. <laughs> okay, you are, um... Oh, I got it out before it took too much damage. Is it, is it bad that I did, did it that way? I do whatever. I'm gonna take you on now. Can't stop, won't stop. Oh, you have a spider tank now. What the heck? Well, Scylla, let's go there. You go here. Yep. Start is T. Oh, you're still on fire! <laughs> okay. And, um... Okay. 
rip this ship. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. You're not on fire anymore. You're not. Oh, out of water. And your bridge is gone. And your. Mmm. 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 Lost it anyway. Okay, so I need to armor the uh, incomprehensible better. Well, I've been here. I've been here for a bit now, bit though. So I think this is gonna be the it for the first episode, as I as the game actually auto saves. It thought for me. Nice. Well, uh, please join me next time as I upload the video almost immediately afterwards. So next time will be when the next video finishes uploading, because I'm probably not going to do much editing. Jokes, haha. <laughs> anyway, join me next time on Airships Conquer the Skies. That's the name of the game, right? Yeah, yeah. Episode 2 of my Unnamed series will be coming up. Bye-bye.